Teacher Talk in Sports, what it does, what it do, how we live in. In the history of the NBA, there have only been six set of twins that have both appeared in NBA games. Well, soon that list will expand by two to eight. After last night's NBA draft saw the Thompson twins, Amen Thompson, go fourth overall to the Rockets, and Sir Thompson go fifth overall to the Detroit Pistons. Then Keegan Murray was drafted by the Sacramento Kings last season. His brother, Chris Murray, his twin brother, was drafted yesterday, 23rd overall by the Portland Trailblazers. So I figured we'll take a look at all the sets of twins that have played in the NBA and come to a conclusion as to who the best set of twins have been and to see who the Thompsons and Murray Murray's would have to overtake to be the best set of twins in NBA history. So this is via For the Win of USA Today Sports. Six sets of NBA twins to play in the league, including soon the Thompsons and Murray's. So there you see the Thompson twins, Amen and Osser. Fourth and fifth picks overall. Chris Murray, 23rd overall in this year's draft. So starting with Brooke and Robin Lopez. Robin Lopez is actually the Nets franchise leader in career points. And last season finished as runner-up for Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, has been a very good player throughout his career. Won a championship with the Los An- excuse me, Milwaukee Bucks. Meanwhile, Robin Lopez, he's kind of been on the fringes of rotations of late, but has started 605 games in his career with averages of 8.5 points, 4.8 rebounds, five seasons with double-digit scoring. Next, we have the Morrises, Marcus and Markeith. Uh, Marcus Morris has had some seasons as a very good scorer in his career, averaging 12.3 points per game, uh, career high of 16.7 with the Knicks and Clippers in 2019-20, started 502 of his 783 games. Morris has also been a productive scorer, but uh, much like Robin Lopez, hasn't really been a part of um Firm rotations in recent seasons, especially last season. He's averaged 10.6 points per game in his career, including a career high 15.3 in 2014-15. Third, the Collins brothers, Jason and Jaron. Now, neither were super productive, but Jason Collins did start a bunch of games with the Nets. In his first two seasons, the Nets made the finals, and he was the starting center in the second of those seasons. Jaron Collins, career averages at 3.9 points, 2.9 rebounds. Not anything to write home about, but did start 216 games in his career. Fourth set of twins, we got the Van Arsdales, Dick and Tom. Uh, Dick Van Arsdale was a three-time All-Star, three straight seasons from 68-69 to 70-71. Uh, Each of those seasons, he averaged more than 21 points per game, averaged 16.4 points per game over 12 seasons, uh, made the 1973-74 all-defensive team. His brother, Tom, was also a three-time All-Star, also three straight seasons from 69-70 to 71-72. In the first two of those seasons, he averaged over 22 points per game and averaged 15.3 points per game in his 12-year career, the fifth set of twins, we have the Grants, Horace and Harvey. Uh, Horace Grant was a great player who probably didn't put up elite scoring averages while well, he played with Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen. He's a four-time NBA champion, though. Three with the Bulls, one with the Lakers. Uh, made an all-star team, four all-defensive teams. Uh, had a couple seasons where he averaged double-digit rebounding and averaged double-digit scoring every season from 88, 89, and 97, 98. His brother Harvey might be a little lesser known. Still had a good career, averaging 9.9 points over 783 games. Two straight seasons, 91 and 90, 91, 92, and 92, 93 with the Bullets. He averaged over 18 points per game. And the last set of twins, both active, Caleb and Cody Martin. Caleb Martin had some great games for the Heat in this year's postseason as the Heat were a surprise eight seed to reach the NBA Finals. He's averaged eight points over his first four seasons. Cody Martin was hurt 
much of this past season, um, but has played 178 games, 5.8 points, 3.5 rebounds, 2.1 assists. So there are the six set of twins that have played in the NBA. It's really a tight race. Uh, I believe between three sets of twins for who's the best. I'm probably going to go with the Van Arsdales, number one. Um, you, they were the most productive. They're both three-time All-Stars. Uh, but the Grants aren't far behind. Horace Grant, definitely an underrated player during his playing days, as was Harvey Grant. Uh, third, the Lopez's, slightly behind both of those uh, sets of twins. Brooke Lopez, as I mentioned, that's franchise leader in scoring. Um, even at 35 years old, this past season was runner-up for Defensive Player of the Year. And Robin Lopez was a viable starting center for many years. So those are the sets of twins that the Thompsons and Marys will have to chase uh, in order to be known as the best set of twins in NBA history. Good luck to them in their NBA careers. Anyhow, don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. Like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications.